Alright, in this example we're going to review how to plot points in order to graph an equation. So we're given this equation, y equals negative 3x plus 1, and if you'll remember from the way you very first learned how to plot points, we drew a, basically an x and a y chart. And we said, okay, let's choose some x values and then we'll find the y that goes with that. So let's say that we've got an x of maybe negative 1. If we were to plug negative 1 in place of x, that would be negative 3 times negative 1 would be a positive 3 plus 1 would give us 4. So the y value would be a 4 and then we could plot that point. Negative 1, 4 would be right about there. Now let's say that we chose an x value of 0. If we were to plug 0 in in place of x, negative 3 times 0 would be 0 plus 1 would be 1. So we would have the point 0, comma, 1, which would be right there. Now we really need to have one more point to make sure that we, I mean, we can see where the line is going. But we really do need to have one more point just to make sure that, we're, uh, that we haven't made any mathematical mistakes here. So if I plug in a 1 in place of x, that would be negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 1 would give us a negative 2. So now if we plot the point 1, negative 2, we would be right there. And so we can see now that those points are in fact collinear and we could draw in the, uh, the line that goes between them. Now this is how we would plot if we were going to plot points, come up with this graph. However, now that you're in intermediate algebra, there's a better way to graph and we need to learn how to use our calculators also. So for this, we're going to do the exact same example, the y equals negative 3x plus 1, but this time we're going to learn how to do it on our calculator. The most important thing to remember is right here. In order to use your calculator, it has to be in the form of y equals. So starting out, our equation is in the form y equals something. So we are going to go to our calculator. And let me pull that up here. Here's a, a, an example of our calculator. Now what I did, let me get back to the home screen. Once we turn it on, which is your on button is down here in the lower left hand corner, if you want to graph something you have to hit the y equals, which is in the upper left hand corner. So when we hit y equals, it should now pull up your graphing screen. Now, if you have anything already listed out here, go ahead and clear so that it will wipe it out. And now we're going to type in our equation. It was negative 3x, so I'm going to hit the negative button down here. This is different than the minus button, so be careful which one you're putting in. So if we hit negative 3, and then to type in an x, right here is where your variable keys are. So we hit x, and then plus 1. Now this is, we have to type in the equation exactly as it is first, and then we need to get the graph on our screen. So to get the graph, we hit zoom, which is here, and then 6. Zoom 6 is a nice standard window. Uh, so negative 10 to 10 in the x direction, negative 10 to 10 in the y direction. Now you really do need to practice using your calculator to get graphs up, because this is going to be extremely important. You're going to have to be able to do this very quickly as we go. Now, you would not want to just draw that on your paper because it, we need to have some points so that we can be a little bit more accurate. Once you have the, the graph on your screen, you can hit the trace button and I want you to notice that down at the bottom it's giving us one point where x is 0, y is 1. So we could use that to plot a point on our paper. And then how about if we want to know what happens when x is negative 1? While your calculator is in trace mode, you can type any x value you want to. So if I hit negative 1, look what happened to the x right here. It changed to x equals negative 1. And when I hit enter, it will go to that point on the graph. So we have x is negative 1 and y is 4, and we could plot that point on our paper. Now what happens if we want to know if when, when x is 1, what is y? So again, we're in trace mode, so we could just type 1 and hit enter and it will go to that x value. So that is the point 1, negative 2, which we could now draw on our paper and we would have the exact same graph that we did by plotting points.